EMP has been around for 75 years. There are a lot of coincidences that happen that scared all of us or make our hair stand up. For example, around about Kobe Bryant's death, Michael Jordan's uh, with six, the number six. But today we are taking a different route. This video includes some of the funniest coincidences that have happened to make you laugh. So hope you all enjoyed it. Number one, the Demarcus Cousins and Buddy Hill incident. It was back in 2017 when Cousins was still on the Kings and Buddy Hill was still on the Pelicans. I guess they will be traded for each other a few days later. That's pretty insane, but that's not the only coincidence that happened. As you can see in this play, Cousins was trying to set a screen for his teammate Ben McLemore. And Buddy just ran to Cousins and decided to eliminate his potential future children. So basically he grabbed his balls. You can still have your meatballs! And Cousins was pissed, obviously. And Buddy Hill was ejected from the game as this was called a flagrant 2 foul. Now the funny part is... Okay, if you are laughing at about the ball grabbing sequence, I won't judge you. But the funny part is, when you take a look at the scoreboard, what did you notice? And... I don't want to say if it's ironically, but just... What a coincidence. It, it was a game between the New Orleans Pelicans and the Kings. So it says no sack right there. And that totally describes what Hill had done to DeMarcus Cousins. Number 2. Stephen Curry has known to be the best shooter of all time. But he's not known for his athleticism, especially about dunking the ball. So, this will be about Stephen Curry and his missed dunks. So, I'm not sure how many missed dunks that Stephen Curry had in his entire career so far. But, I've noticed that he had three missed dunks and they all happened at the stable center. So, is this a coincidence? I don't know, but that's very interesting how he had these shacking of war moments all happen at one of the biggest stages in the entire NBA. And number three, do you guys remember the famous video about LeBron James on changing his number? So basically in this video, LeBron is talking about changing his number for next season back in 2009. And oh, he's interviewed by Craig Sager, R.I.P. Mr. Sager. And that's pretty funny because we all know what happened in the next off season in the 2010 off season. He basically created a super team, joined the Miami Heat with Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade, and went on to win two championships. But when he talks about he wanted to change his number from 23 to 6 to honor Michael Jordan. Maybe he's talking about he wants to join the Heat. Because the Heat also retired Jordan's number. So no one in the Heat uniform can wear number 23 again. And that's that could be a hint. But we all know. Oh, also, LeBron talks about how he feels no one should wear 23 because of Jordan. Now obviously we all know that LeBron wore 23 again. Uh, back to Cleveland and eventually Los Angeles. But maybe it was during the Miami season when he noticed, oh my god, he's also in the GOAT conversation, so he deserved to wear 23, I don't know that. But the coincidence is, when this interview is conducted, guess where they are? They are in the American Airlines Center. I mean, the American Airlines Arena, home of the Miami Heat. And yeah, that's just kind of funny to me. And finally, we got the Kings and their horrible draft pick selections. Oh wait, that's not a coincidence? They just have horrible GMs every year? Okay, then I guess that'll be the end of the video. <laughs>